Hello everyone, it's Ryan here and today I'm bringing you an Adobe After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to create an underwater uh, realistically underwater looking sort of introduction or promotion style sort of thing for your uh, YouTube channel, for your companies, websites etc. Uh, this is really simple to do, it just takes a lot of um, factors to put together the uh, end product but let's take a look at what we're going to be creating today. So yeah, as you saw, I will mute the sound effect back. Uh, you see the words AE for After Effects fade in. You see bubbles, you see light rays, you see all that sort of stuff. You see it wiggles around in the water and then the, the AE text fades out. So it's really simple to create. I've got it right here. Let's just zoom in, there we go. Let's play this back. Really easy to make, really, really simple. So let's go and jump into uh, a new composition. We'll name this, you can name it wherever you want, like main composition or main comp or whatever. I'm just going to name mine tutorial comp. Uh, 1920, 1080, lock aspect ratio, 29.97 frame rate, uh, resolution full depending on how fast your computer is. Uh, duration, I made mine 10 seconds. Uh, you can make this however long you want. Uh, background color, I'm going to leave it as black, hit OK. So now what you're going to want to do to start off is press Ctrl Y on your keyboard or Command Y for a Mac uh, to get up a new solid and we're going to name this solid Scene. Okay. And the first thing we're going to add is a uh, in the effects and presets bar at your side we're going to add in a four color gradient. Okay. Just double click it in the effects and presets bar. So for the color one I've got all these written down on a piece of paper as you can probably hear. I've got all of my settings written down on a piece of paper so you can just copy me if you want or you can uh, mix it up a little, make it however you like. But for colour 1, the uh, numbers and digits and all that stuff you need to write in, I did 0C1A48. So yeah, it's all murky blue colour. Colour 2, 106794 for a lighter blue. Color three, zero, one, zero, C, three, five. Color four is zero, four, one, four, two, three. Once you've done all those colors or you've got it to your liking, uh, set the blending mode, not the blending mode, like the blend amount on the color gradient to 250%. And that's all for that. Secondly, uh, for CS5 users, you will have under simulation CC Snow, but for After Effects CS6 users, you have CC Snowfall. Now, I'm sorry for CS6 users such as myself because we don't have CC Snow, which I just realized when I tried recording the tutorial before. So, what I've gone and done is I've gone into my scene and I've basically Control C, Control V from the CC Snowfall because After Effects CS6 does not have it. So they all appear like this. But what you can do is you can copy my settings uh, for CS5 users. If you don't have it, CS6 users, I will put CC uh, Snow, the actual little plugin or effect or whatever, in the description for download so that you can get it. And plus, there will be a download link for the uh, project file as well, so you shouldn't have a problem with that anyway. But uh, for the amount on CC Snow is 20. Speed negative 0 0.20 amplitude 0 0.73 uh, you leave the frequency you make the flake size to 5% and then you change the opacity to 25% and that's pretty much that so this is your basic water scene with bubbles if you want to add some motion blur or anything then you can feel free but that's just too much basically it just doesn't necessarily need to be put in it looks alright to me on its own I would add motion blur, but to be honest, I can't be bothered. Uh, okay, so new solid again. Uh, make this a white solid. And we're going to name this light rays. Now what you're going to do is come over to effects and presets, add a fractal noise. Doesn't look very light rayish at the moment, that's fine. Now, 
you may not have this CS5 and CS6 users are not fractal noise you may not have animation presets at the top like I don't because this is my first time using CS6 uh, on my Mac so even I don't have it yet all you need to do is you need to go up to this little bar up here and hit show animation presets and it should do this little loading screen and then load it up if not that means my After Effects has crashed balls okay there we go no it's fine uh, then you get all these and there isn't any shite okay that's crap okay I'll be back in a second okay sorry about that um yeah After Effects CS6 doesn't have the animation presets apparently which is a load of bullshit but whatever so for the I did uh, sort of make the same sort of thing uh, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to make it fractal type swirly noise type soft linear make sure you invert it uh, make contrast 108 make the brightness negative 22 overflow I think that stays a clip complexity 1.5 now once you've done that because uh, we're going to do something with this in a minute doesn't matter about the evolution or anything actually yeah it does uh, make sure you hit the stopwatch for the evolution at the start for zero going to bring up fractal noise on here and then go all the way to the very end and set the evolution to times one so that we just get this very subtle sort of light rays changing effect doesn't look exactly like what we was going to have in the actual scene as you see doesn't look very good if you set that to like I don't know soft light doesn't look very good looks really weird so what we're going to do is hold on to change the paper Right, the next thing we're going to do is go into our effects of presets and add distort corner pin. I'm getting really annoyed because all these things are starting to change. Uh, I'll try going along with it. Uh, okay, upper left, change this. Uh, if you're using a 1920 by 1080 comp, then you need to use these settings. Well, you don't have to, but these are what I use. If you're using like a 12A by 720 or a smaller comp, then you can just work it like work around until which suits your liking. If you want to copy these settings for 1920 by 1080, but the HD 1080p users, then feel free. I'm going to go 312 by 152, no negative 152, and 1608 by negative 168. Uh, the lower left, negative 228 by 1264. Left right. 2280 1280 and then as you can see it's sort of like what we had before if I was to solo out the light rays you can see it's got a mask though so we'll get to that later but you see it's kind of similar okay then what we're going to want to do is change the opacity to 30% and set the uh, blending mode to soft light so now do you sort of see where we're getting these sort of light rays from uh, it doesn't look very much like what we had before though. So what we're going to need to do is add a fast blur. There we go. Oh wait, no, one major thing. I've made a massive flaw. Okay, right, what you're going to need to do is delete those two and then pre-comp the layer. And move all attributes into the new comp. You can just copy those by shift hitting, shift clicking them, and then press Control C. Right now you've got that. Now just press Control V again, and they're back. Blend mode, soft light. There you go. That looks a lot better now. Doesn't look quite like it was. Sorry about that. I'm failing today. Uh, fast blur. Set the blurriness to 19. And there you go. That's your sort of light ray sort of thing. Uh, then what we're going to want to do is make an elliptical mask on the uh, the light red comp. So what we can do is we can just drag this out. So I don't know. I'm going to set this to half for tutorial purposes because it's lagging the computer a bit. Alright, we'll just drag. You can mess about with this. It doesn't really matter. To be perfectly honest, you can just fiddle about with the settings 
Okay. So now I'll just drag this down. Bring this down a little bit. This is just trial and error with this part, basically. Nothing really too special to it. Now you're going to want to set the mask to mask feather even. Mask feather, set that to 200. And set the mask expansion to 3. Okay, that's pretty good. Now if we look at that, that looks pretty nice. That's pretty right. Okay, right. Next part. Make a new solid. Make a black. And name it water. Now what we're going to be using for this, you guessed it, fractal noise again. Right. Make sure you set the contrast to 30. The brightness to negative 24. And set the blending mode to color dodge. Opacity 30. Pretty simple major basic sort of war thing but that's not quite it yet what you're gonna have to do is go to the start evolution go to the end times one so now you get this sort of water moving in the background type thing just pre just like ram preview this so that we can see it may take a little bit of time but um, not going that slow quick to be honest Considering it is recording and I'm editing at the same time. Anyway, guys, sorry about um, all the confusion. You might be getting confused during the tutorial. I do apologize. Um, I've just uh, I'm struggling to speak today for some reason. I'm forgetting things really easily. We'll just watch it from there. Yeah, there you go. It's all like water moving subtly in the background. Okay, so. Uh, Next part, make a, another solid, make sure it's black, and name it Vignette, or Viggy, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, now what you want to do is get your elliptical, your ellipse tool, and then you want to make a, I think it's, yeah, it's a mask up here in this part. You're going to want to invert it, go down to the mask settings, make the feather 300. Expansion 107, blending mode to soft light on the layer. Make sure the blending mode on the layer soft light, and set the opacity to 30 percent. Uh, 25 percent. Yeah, there we go. So it just gives off a very subtle sort of, you know, sort of like the further down you go, the darker it gets, sort of effect. Right then. The next part is going to involve you creating your Photoshop text. But I've got mine here, so I'll open mine in Photoshop and show you. I'll pause and I will show you again when it's back up. Okay, I've got Photoshop up now. And uh, these are the settings I used. Uh, I used a bevel and emboss uh, with a depth of 89%. You leave the style and the technique on their own. Uh, you, the direction is up, size 23. Uh, shading, I kept global light, I set the angle to 135 degrees and then 85 degrees so it's bang on middle. I made a gradient overlay, I will tell you the numbers and stuff. I just made a grey to a white so you can just make a white and then put it right at the end. For the grey I used A3, A3, A3. And then I used a very simple drop shadow, uh, opacity of 32%, angle with global light selected 135 degrees, Spread 17%, distance 0, and size 43%. Okay, so we'll close Photoshop. As it's killing the computer for some reason. Change nothing. Using up loads of RAM, fuck me. Okay, but because I've already got this thing, I can just drag it in. So I'll just drag it in and it'll centralize it straight away. Okay, there we go. Right. So now we set the blending mode of the text layer to overlay. Oh, and by the way, for the Photoshop layer, I used uh, the font Beavis, if you're still making it. And, uh, okay. Right. Make the scale at the start of the comp 50%. And then go to two seconds. Make it one, no, 
and then go to end even sorry right and then set it to 145 percent that is what i've done okay and then we'll go to the start again hit t on your keyboard to get up the opacity at the start we want zero percent at two seconds a hundred percent at five seconds a hundred percent again actually no we'll make that seven seconds and then right at the end zero percent so we get that nice fade in fade out effect okay right next part is to apply some effects to the text so now we're going to want to go into effects and presets and type in turbulent and then go for distort turbulent space okay right at the start of the uh, composition or well, yep the, the composition set the amount to 18 then we go to three seconds gonna want to set it to one go to five seconds set it to 15 go to seven seconds set it to 12 and then go to the end and just set it to like 59 just for that like randomness because at the end you can right and now you're going to want to go to the turbulent displacement again at the start hit a keyframe for the evolution so it's a zero percent at the beginning go right to the end make it three times now if we ram preview this you can see very slowly but subtly that we have remade the underwater scene i will unpause when this is uh ram previewed right sorry about that guys um my adobe after effects crashed so i couldn't get it back open to continue the tutorial and show you the end product but um yeah thank you so much for watching this tutorial i appreciate it this is going to be the first of many after effects tutorials and um if you have any suggestions on what you'd like me to do next or if there's anything you'd like to see please leave it in the comment section below if you um have any ideas or if you enjoy the tutorial please uh, do say so uh if you're feeling generous make sure to leave a like on the video and if you want to keep up to date with my next tutorial or speed art or whatever the hell i'm going to be doing then just subscribe if you want to don't say you have to you can just watch the video and leave but it's all down to you so uh, thank you so much for watching guys and as always I'll see you in the next video. Peace.